parks and beaches nearly at capacity all across the state of Georgia today. Earlier this afternoon, the Department of Natural Resources released a list of parks that were already at high capacity, some of them in the metro area. Our new her shows how officials are managing those crowds. Kicking off the holiday weekend, Todd Michaels and his family chose to do it at Roswell River Park like many others. We've been looking forward to coming down to the river. It's a gorgeous weekend. People were out kayaking, tubing, and out there with them were Roswell police, ensuring everyone was following social distancing guidelines. Basically, everybody's uh, a good distance, and it just is a good chance to get outside and get some fresh air. Michael says his family knew to keep to themselves away from other large groups. We've done this a couple times in the past, so nothing's really changed to our procedure. But again, I wouldn't be going with a group of necessarily strangers floating down the river. But, you know, this is our family. It's a chance for us to get outside and enjoy uh, Mother Nature on this fine weekend. Our rangers need your help to reduce the spread of COVID-19. The Georgia DNR was on the same page, expecting large crowds over Memorial Day weekend. Staff says they may temporarily limit access to ensure social distancing. Admission could be limited for several hours at a time until capacity allows more people in. The DNR said in a statement, quote, the number is based on parking and other factors, so that would vary from park to park. When this happens, we post notices online so that visitors know in advance that gates may no longer be open by the time they arrive. The DNR suggesting perhaps visiting lesser known parks and parks closer to your home, doing what you can to help them make the parks safer. Above all, please be patient. These are unprecedented times and circumstances may not be ideal during a visit. So we ask you to be courteous of other visitors and the rangers who are here to support you. And check this out. This is farther east on the Georgia coast. These are the crowds at Tybee Island beaches. Earlier this week, law enforcement, city officials and business owners said they were prepared for the crowds. The mayor said they were expecting an influx of tens of thousands of visitors. Also, thousands of people hitting the beach in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Social distancing and personal hygiene guidelines are still in place to slow the spread of the virus. Folks who violate the city's rules can face fines up to $500 and a possible 30-day stay in the House of Correction.